Okay, Jim, just going to show you a couple things on the Washington here. This is the one that you're going to get. I haven't put the fans on it yet, um, but this is the, you basically just bridge that circuit right there, right here. These two pads, you're just bridging them, and that's all you're doing to complete the circuit, which will allow the radio to have all the frequencies, um, amateur radio, CB radio, and everything else in between. So I'm going to put the top lid back on this, and uh, I'll do the fans later. Uh, they just bolt on to the back, and then there's a couple of spots on the board that you um, plug them in. And they all run automatically via thermostat, basically, or else you can keep them on all the time if that's what you choose to do from the control on the radio. Just to show you the factory where they make these, they do scratch up that protective face. So that's normal, see that all the time. You can peel all that off just like you did on your George, or if you don't mind, just leave it on there because it will protect. But if this is gonna be in a vehicle and it's gonna be hot and facing the sun a lot, then I would probably recommend taking it off because eventually it could get stuck on there and then you could have a really difficult time getting it off. Um, the, we call this the bezel. It's not chrome on this one, it's like brown. There's always going to be minor imperfections on these radials, unfortunately. I'm not seeing anything too bad on this one, but, um, you know, that's something that, for whatever reason, uh, where they make these at in China, they may bump them up a little bit, you know, mark them up a little bit. I don't do anything to them here, scratch them or anything, but, you know, this one doesn't look too bad. I don't see any big gouges or anything in it, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, other than that, I'm just going to hook it up really quick and show you a couple things. Important things I think you need to see to help you with the radio. Okay, so the radio is on. Then when it's on, you don't see a lot of the imperfections on the protector. I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to turn that key beep off because that just totally annoys me. If you like it, you can turn it back on. Uh, indicator, I'm going to put it to standing wave, so when you transmit it's going to show standing wave. Um, this is going to be temperature, it's going to show the temperature on the display. I'm going to name, uh, uh, first let me, let me do this, so we have to go into the secret menu here which is accessed by you know me putting that wire that zero ohm resistor to bridge that circuit that's what allows you to do this I think it's one two three four five it might be zero one two three four I don't remember it's one two three four five so the radio just reset now you have your CB band on a so I'm gonna rename that for you um, you'd never want to do a full reset. If you do do a full reset, you'll lose all that, but you have to go back in. So you have to keep this video for your reference and do that, um, what I just showed you under the password. If you do the full reset, the password option will come back up. Right now it's not there because we've already done it. So um, I'm going to switch that to Fahrenheit because we're in Fahrenheit part of the world. I'm going to switch your band A to make it say CB. So that way you'll know the B doesn't really look like a B, but that's your B there. So um, keep that in mind that now it's going to say CB. Kind of looks like C6, but that's the way they write B. So now you have CB. I'd encourage you to learn all these frequencies. Um, the A channel here is something that uh, you're not going to have on the George FCC. When you see an A, that's an in between. There's still a physical frequency between 19 and 20. And that's 27195. So I would encourage you to really learn the frequencies and not just depend on channel selector number. You know, learn the frequencies as you go along. That's going to help you out. This will stay in the CB band, so 1 through 40. Uh, the amateur bands are going to be up here. Band F is your 10 meter. If you get your technician class, you have privilege from 28300 to 28500. 
So when you're going to use this for amateur radio, what I would recommend that you do is switch on the span setting, which is here. And what that's going to do now is allow you, when you tap this button, you see how it's blinking the numbers. Um, in amateur radio, we don't use channels at all. We use frequency only. So you can, you can go through it like this, 28.3 to 28.5, and listen. Of course, you'd be on upper sideband here. This is all stuff you'll learn um, as far as what frequencies. It doesn't matter if you say A or anything. That is a non-factor for these frequencies. This whole channel thing here shouldn't be here, in my opinion. They could have done away with this as an amateur radio. Um, it's not necessary. You're always looking at frequency. We don't do channels on the 10 meter band at all. So, you know, and you can you can fine adjust it just by doing this. People will talk kind of wherever on amateur radio. So that's a good thing to know for amateur radio. For CB, probably you're not gonna wanna use that span setting. So you would just turn it off. If you hold this down, it goes back in. Just switch that off and then go back to CB band right there so that's basically the same you know usability as your George minus you're gonna have the A channels there's only a couple A channels in this band which one is here another one's here another one's there your George FCC won't get those A channels so just remember that 